Yes, sir. What can I do for you? I thought this was supposed to be medium rare. Isn't it cooked that way? Yeah, I I'm supposed to be meeting someone here. Um, I, I, I think that someone might be you. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so, son? Take a seat. Okay. Can I guess your drink? Why am I here? You know, I could have spent 20 minutes exchanging pleasantries with you. But I can see you're a very busy man. So I'll just get straight to the point. I'm here to talk about Katie. What is it? I, I mean, I mean, uh, she's all right, right? She, she's, uh, she's not in any kind of trouble, is she? Katie, in trouble? Whatever give you that idea? <laughs> God, no. Katie isn't in any kind of trouble whatsoever. Before we go any further, I think I should tell you a little bit about me. The fact that you are here has very little to do with you and Katie and very much to do with the fact that I am... <sighs> I ain't getting any younger, you see. And in my line of work, well, sometimes you can make a mistake. Mistake? I don't understand. I mean, who, who exactly are you? Pardon me, sir. My manager has informed me that it is against company policy to let their customers imbibe their own alcohol. And? And? That means you'll have to order from our bar if you wish to continue drinking. Well, then just give me another one of these. Where the hell was I? Uh, you were about to tell me exactly who you are. Oh, yes. Well, you see, uh, I'm a sort of a, a matchmaker. And I put people together. So, so you put me and Katie? Uh... Precisely. And if it wasn't for me, you two kids never would have got along so well. Oh, no, uh, I never went to any kind of service or anything. Thanks, hon. So, I mean... How to find me? I don't exactly work for a service, kid. I'm an independent contractor. So, 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 uh, so, so you made a mistake? Uh, exactly. An error has occurred and it needs to be fixed. That's all. I appreciate this level of cooperation. <laughs> cooperation? I mean, well, what do you mean? I mean, no. See, see, me and Katie, we're really, really happy. See, see, I, I, I just, uh, I don't understand what. Like, we're, we're a mistake. The gist is. So you have to leave Katie, and you have to do it tonight. No, 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 but you see, you see, I love her. Okay, you see, see, I, I want to marry her. No, you don't. Yes, yes, I do. I, I do. I'm sorry to do this to you, kid. I really am. But it's not up to me. This decision is coming down from above. Oh, above? What, what, what is this? I'm just sort of a middleman. When it comes right down to it, if I had any say in it, I would just let you two kids stay together. But I don't, so you're gonna have to leave. I'm 
not going anywhere until you tell me who the hell you are. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Oh? Uh, try me. Yeah, tough guy. All right. I'm Cupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so where's Katie? She's at home, waiting for you. No, come on, joke's over. I mean, where, where is everyone? Is Ron here, that bastard? Is he in on this? No one is in on this, jackass. I'm being serious. I really am Cupid. Cupid, the little baby angel that shoots people with love arrows on Valentine's Day. I'm obviously no longer a baby. I've never been an angel. I shoot people every day, not just on Valentine's Day. It's kind of fun. Uh. What are you doing? Watch this. It isn't that I don't find you attractive. It's just I don't want anything to come between such an amazing friendship. Demonstration. As I was saying, sometimes the fates need to step in to make things how they need to be in order for the world to work. And your precious Katie contacted my people. People? They like their anonymity. They send me out on a job and I shoot you. By mistake. You sound like an assassin. I kind of am. A love assassin. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. This is the guy I was supposed to shoot. Mark Felch? Is it Felch? Yeah, that's him all right. Mark Felch. I don't even look like this guy. It was late. I was tired. I was a little drunk. A little. He's uh, six foot nine. This guy must weigh like at least 250. What can I say? He's an unemployed backup dancer. What do you expect? He's six foot nine. Katie? Katie, she doesn't even like to dance. Not yet. She doesn't like to dance yet. But when two souls fall in love, they like to learn all kinds of new things. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, you know, I don't have to take this. What if, what if I decide to say no? What if, what if, uh, what if, what if I decide that I don't want to leave Katie? What then? Look, pal, my ass is on the line here. I wish none of this happened. I really do. But it did, so now we're going to have to deal with it. And besides, do you really want to challenge the fates? Only when they're drunken screw-ups. I am not a screw-up. That's it, okay? I don't know what the hell is going on here and I don't know what you expect me to do, but I do know one thing, and that one thing is that I, I love Katie, all right? And I'm not gonna sit around and listen to you or what anybody else here has to say about it. The fates, Jimmy. You can't run from the fates. Here you go. Medium rare.
How about a little steak sauce?